Hi, my name is Ashish, and this is the part two of develop, test, and publish Azure Functions by using Azure Functions core tools. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal, and this is where we left. Now that we have built and tested uh, the simple interest function, we would like to get it published to Azure, right? So it would be great to see it up and running on the web and provide the URL to to the call to our colleagues so that they can see how it can be called from anywhere right now we would we were running it locally that is why i was not able to browse it here right so so in this video we will see how to create a function app in azure and use the core tools to publish uh, the functions project to it so Let me quickly create a function app. So this is the commands that I'm gonna run in the cloud shell. This is the resource group. Storage account. Context. This is my function app. This is the storage account command that I am running in Central US. I'm doing it uh, from the CLI just to make it faster. You can use the GUI to create your uh, storage account and function app. so let me pause the video and come back okay it is done i'll do the function app now okay okay this is done okay so I will publish this to Azure now. Okay, I will <clears throat> browse to my loan wizard directory and I will use the func Azure function app publish function app command. Getting site publishing info. Let's see what I get next. It is getting the running and if in case this command displays an error then uh, if this fails gives an error that it cannot find the app wait for two minutes and try again because it was mentioned in the documentation that new function apps takes a few seconds to become discoverable by the core tools after they are created. Or we can also try append appending dash dash force to the end of the command line to update the function app version mismatch. So you see here, it, it is creating the archive for current directory and uploading it. The deployment completed successfully, syncing triggers, And <clears throat> few more seconds and it will be done. See, so it says simple and trust is an HTTP trigger. And this is the invoke URL. So if I click here, please supply rate and term in the query string. Okay. Now, if I see uh, all resources this is my function app that I created from the CLI and if I go click a URL here this is just blank and if I see functions 
this is the simple interest your app is currently in read only mode because you are running it from a package file okay i have to just upload it cannot do it from here so you here you see code plus test index.json file you click on test run so in here you provide the parameters right like uh, principal term and uh, duration click on run and you close it say function simple interest the function was programmatically called via the host api executed and succeeded but it will not give you an error or message because we did not supply the parameters that it was looking for same way uh, if you launch the cloud shell again and you click on here it will open up and it will give you a string that actually should be returned when you are running an http trigger okay and if i add at the end of the url i would do and principal i could add it here so i added this part i'm adding the principal rate and term this is the simple interest that i am getting okay i hope this was informative to all of you guys this is how you create and publish the function app using azure function core tools if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next videos thank you have a good day